Even worse devastation was seen 50 years ago this weekend when the Palm Sunday tornadoes tore through the Midwest. News Channel 15 Sarah Wagner joins us now with a look back at one of the region's worst storms in history. The National Weather Service recorded 47 tornadoes between April 11th and April 12th, 1965. 261 people died, making it the third deadliest outbreak on record. I can see the home of my aunt and uncle who uh, were killed in this disaster last evening. Uh, every trailer was uh, just practically leveled. All the ambulances that I could get down here. It's real bad. These details of the storm are something Carl Hardup witnessed firsthand. He worked as chief photographer for the new Sentinel for almost four decades. 37 years. You see a lot in a career that spans nearly 40 years. Once you see a tornado damage, you hardly ever forget it. He remembers the devastation. That's the most damage that I was ever exposed to. He still remembers getting the assignment. The city editor called me early in the morning, must have been about three, and wanted me to go down south of Burn. He still remembers getting to the scene. I went to an area where one lady was killed, and uh, there were three or four slab houses, and the tornado actually tore three houses away from the slabs. There wasn't a thing left on the slab except three toilets. The images, unlike anything he'd ever seen. I took a corn stalk that was driven into a concrete block. The power of a tornado is just unbelievable. The destruction, an almost insurmountable challenge to capture in just one shot. There's so much damage uh, in a tornado that you can't possibly get it all in, in, in a single photograph. On Sunday, the National Weather Service will be live tweeting the events of April 11, 1965 as they happened. You can follow the organization's handle and also look out for the hashtag Palm Sunday 50. That runs from 1 in the afternoon to 11 at night. In the Weather Center, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.